Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for returning if you're a returning subscriber. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you're new to the channel, welcome also. All right, so if you're new to the channel, let's just jump into a little bit of information before we jump into your video today. First of all, I'm super excited because my podcast will be available for you guys to stream by November 18th. So I'm super excited about that. And I am running a birthday special, my loves, until the 22nd of this month. Okay, so you get half off love readings as well as career readings. So that will be $50 for a 45 minute reading slash coaching session with me. So you guys can take advantage of that. And then also I do post daily energy vibrational videos It's really about encouraging and motivating you and allowing you to understand the energy and the atmosphere before you begin your day. And then I also want to let you guys know that I am creating a new group on Facebook. This is going to be based on relationships, sharing, growing, healing, and this is going to be free. So once that is up and running, I will give you guys the information so you can come on and join the community on Facebook. Super excited about that. Uh, one more thing. I do want to let you guys know also so that I am creating um, a gift basket for the holidays with my Shea Butter mis Mixture. So if you guys are interested in doing that, please email me at the number four, your inner voice at gmail.com and I can send you guys the information that you would need about the gift baskets. I know the holiday is coming up and this is a special blend of Shea Butter um, that I do. It's a body, you know, body butter. You can also use it in your hair. So it's shea butter essential oils that I do charge with um, energy. Uh, and I blend that together. So you guys, if you're interested, just email me and we can um, get you an email about that. All right. So today, my lovely Capricorns, we are doing your spiritual guidance reading. Okay. So we're not really going to get into love or relationships on money. We are just going to see where the reading goes and what messages or confirmations or um, insight or inspiration you may need my wonderful Capricorns. Okay. So we're going to do a three card pull, your past, your present, and your future. Or we can just say um, it could be three situations, three di different situations. So we're just going to see exactly where this goes. All right, my wonderful Capricorns, we are thanking our angels. We're thanking our guides. We are thanking our ancestors. We are thanking our higher selves. We're thanking the divine masculine and feminine energy. We are thanking all of the energy and the atmosphere that is helping us to take action and have courage and move when it is time. So we're going to dive into this reading and we're going to take a look and see what's going on and what you may need to know, okay? All right, so we got soulmates popping up. So we're going to dive into that. We got this sexuality card popping up. We're going to dive into that because it's still Scorpio season, honey. So there's a lot of heat in the atmosphere, baby. So we will get into that. And we got healing. I knew this was going to pop up, Capricorn. So we're going to get into this too, okay? And we're going to dive like, yeah, we're going to dive into this stuff. All right, so initially, let's just see what they want you to know about this soulmate card, right? So when this soulmate card pops up, it's all about you being able to open up your heart to that sacred love that we all want. So we're talking about that twin flame energy. We're talking about that one that you know that that's the one, okay? So like I said, this card represents opening up your heart to invite that sacred love and that higher uh, vibration of love, okay? So now we're going to pull and see what they want you to know about soulmate energy, and then we're going to clarify your energy, my wonderful Capricorns, and maybe the energy that you may be interacting with, right? We're also going to get a jump on what they want you to know about your sexuality, um, as well as the healing that needs to come forth, okay? So these are the messages, um, that they want to talk about today. Apparently your love life, your sex life, and your healing. Okay, so you're about to get into that. Give me the message that you want them to know about their soulmate energy, sexuality energy, and their healing energy. What do you want my wonderful Capricorns to know? I don't know if y'all been feeling this Capricorns, but I've been feeling like a lot of... Um, Somebody used the word parasite energy uh, the other day, and that's what it feels like. People are really starting to show themselves, or at least I'm beginning to see people for who they really are, okay? And it's allowing me to kind of like pull back a little bit and shut down a little bit. 
Okay. Um, so we want to be mindful of the parasite, the parasite energy um, that's coming in, but it doesn't allow you to block yourself so that you can't allow good shit to come into your life, positive stuff to come into your life also. So you got the soulmate energy, which is clarified here, right? By a full moon. And it says surrender to the divine. Now we just went through a full moon in Scorpio, which is some powerful, powerful energy. So we're talking about deep energy. We're talking about transformational energy. We're also talking about sexual energy. Okay. So now we want to take a look and see where you guys are, my wonderful Capricorns, and what they want you to know. I probably should have closed my heat vent because now I'm super hot. I have to close the window. Take my socks off. I will 555 on the clock, the time of y'all. Mm. So we're going to see if we can incorporate that 555 message for whoever's been seeing that, okay? Or maybe even getting up at 5 a.m. You know, 5 represents change. So, um... So you have for soulmate surrender to the divine. This is a full moon energy. Okay. For the sexuality card, you have nothing is set in stone yet. Okay. And this is a mutable moon energy. Okay. Um, which kind of fits beautifully. For the healing card, you have don't let your pride get in the way, which is a full moon in Leo. Okay. And so... First, we're going to talk about your soulmate energy and surrendering to the divine. We're going to look at your energy, okay? What do you want Capricorns to know about their energy with this soulmate energy? What do you want Capricorns to know about their energy with the soulmate energy? Give me Capricorns energy. Give me Capricorns energy. Give me Capricorns energy. Mm. Bottom of the deck. Three of Wands. That's all about expansion and planning for the future. Give me Capricorn's energy. Capricorn's energy. We're going to see if that come out again, Capricorn. Give me Capricorn's energy. Capricorn's energy. Knight of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Loving it. Yes. Okay. Oh, Knight of Cups. You may have two people coming in to offer you some stuff, Capricorn. Mm. Clarified by seven of pentacles. Hmm. And it kind of feels like you got two energy coming in, Capricorn. Um, you may have somebody rushing in and it just feel like this is perfect. This is karmaic. Right, um, this person is like ready to take action, and but you also have somebody coming in like offering you their heart, though. Like they're coming in with a cup, and this person that's coming in with a cup, my wonderful Capricorns, they want to build. They have a vision. They want to. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Oh, you got the lovers card. It could be a Gemini. Ew. Okay. Um. Okay. All right, you want love, Capricorn, but it looked like you could be a little bit defensive, right? You could be a little bit defensive. You don't know if this is true or real. However, the beautiful thing is that you're open to new perspectives and you're ready to release some shit, right? So that's where your energy is with your soulmate energy. So let's take a look and see where they are. So, um... You got somebody definitely coming in here, right? And this is a turning point. This is it. This definitely feels like destiny. And this energy is rushing in. They could be very action driven and communicative. This person could be um, could be an air sign. This person could definitely be an air sign. This person could be a Gemini, right? Um, this person could be a Gemini. Um, and who's ruled by Jupiter? Let's see. Give me one second. I want to see who's ruled by Jupiter. Up, oh, this could be a Sagittarius. This could be a Sagittarius. All right, because you got Jupiter energy here. And with this Jupiter energy, this person definitely wants to expand. Right, so both of these people like wants to grow. One of it feels very timely, like 
maybe a brush, uh, fresh of breath, uh, you know, breath of fresh air um, versus what you're used to, which is maybe like that, that slower progress. And this person just comes in and they want to take action, right? That's Sagittarius energy, right? Because if you can take a look, see, hmm. If you can take a look, this Knight of Swords energy and this Wheel of Fortune, the only thing is this Knight of Swords energy, I do have to say, though, they're kind of running um, back, like in the past. But this is still... So we're going to clarify where this energy is with this Wheel of Fortune and this, this Knight of Swords. Because we want to make sure that this is not somebody coming back in from the past, but that's still stuck in the past. Because this energy is still very opinionated and could be a little hasty and a little, you know. But they're communicated, right? So they're expressing themselves. Then you got this energy over here, Capricorns, with somebody coming in to offer you their heart. And with this energy, this is like future. They're walking towards the future and they want to build and expand. They got a vision. They want to invest and get a reward. They feel like this will be a profited, a profited um, relationship for the both of you. So you got like somebody coming in offering you something. Now, the only thing about that is, and this could be a Gemini. You got the lover's card. This is all about um, love values, you know, your relationships, you know, like things coming into alignment. But it's kind of like somebody or you, Capricorn, could be a little bit defensive about this because you don't really know. You don't really know which which way to go here. You don't really know which way to go here, right? And then with this seven of cups in reverse, you feel like you got to pay attention to um, the illusions because you're tempted, right? You may be tempted over here to maybe go back in the past and correct some shit because you feel like this is a turning point. You cycle, right? So you may be ten tempted, right? So this is where this is. You may, you may feel tempted like you have options. You got options, right? But you're still ready to walk into new shit. You're not, you don't want to hold on to the old shit. That's where you are, right? Remember, you're, you're here. You, you're you here with the sacred love shit. This, that's just where you are. Call it twin flame. Call it reunion. Call it whatever you want. But you're here. You want that sacred love. And it's saying that you got to surrender to the divine. So you got some options or you will be having some options. And you really going to have to surrender. And you know what to do because the universe will show you, honey. Okay? Hmm. So, hence what's probably leading up to the um, nothing is set in stone yet. So, let's clarify their energy, Capricorns. We don't clarify both their energy. Do I have another deck card like this? Uh, yeah. We're about to clarify both these energies. Clarify this person. With the Knight of Swords energy and the Wheel of Fortune energy. Clarify this person with the Knight of Swords energy and this Wheel of Fortune energy. Hmm. See, this person right here. Yeah, this could be somebody from your past, Capricorn. And I'm saying this because... Right off the back. You got this seven of pentacles energy where they want, they, they, they feel like they want to invest. They feel like they want to put in the work, but the hangman in reverse is saying that there's some type of delay. There's some type of indecision going on with them. And this is this person up here from the past, like that's rushing back to the past. Um, they got the wheel of fortune energy, which is good shit, right? But they're still sitting on the fence of whether or not, you know, this could really work. And that's probably why you're a little bit hasty about this love, too, because it's like these two options. Do I go back to the past and deal with your shit? Um, you seem different. You look different. But see, but here, I'm in alignment. I know what I want. I'm in alignment. And what you're bringing right here, so this night of stars right here that's hasty and coming in hard and strong and probably talking a lot of shit. They probably, ooh, Capricorns, ooh, they probably talking a whole bunch of shit that they that they think you want to hear. Like, they, ooh, they all up in your ear, right? But you can't trust that because this is where you are, but you feel like you can't trust that. And that's probably why you want defense mode from dude number two over here that may be trying to come in and give you that sacred love. 
That's why you in defense mode. Right? That's why you in defense mode. Okay, so clarifying this King of Swords energy and this person from the past, they're still indecisive. They feel like they want to put in the work, right? But there's something holding them back. Clarify what's holding them back. What's holding them back? What's holding them back? What's in their head? What's in their head? What has Mr. Knight of Swords got in their head about my wonderful Capricorns that they are not saying? What's in their head, honey? Okay, we got the Page of Pentacles in reverse. They may have felt that um, there's just no progress. They may feel like shit may not just be lining up. Right, because you got two pages. This is messages. And this person could be sending you mixed signals. So over here, this is your finances. This is the home living situation. This is your stability. Over here, this is the emotion. So um, it could be there's something going on, you know, financially. Um, but this person does not feel right now and this is the person from the past they're still dealing with the indecision of not shit is not progressing like there's no there's no long-term plans here with this person have they changed mm, yeah okay right like they're not motivated ace of wands they're still stuck in their feelings about your ass leaving them out in the cold still some insecurity here not sure, feeling maybe even isolating themselves. And somebody could be lying about money too. Yeah. See, but look, they operating with this um they operating with this knight of cups energy in reverse with the justice card. And with the knight of cups energy, they they operating with um jealousy, being moody. Uh, just maybe being unrealistic. Like, they probably bring up a lot of shit from the past, my wonderful Capricorns, that they may have felt, um, that they may have felt there was no retribution for. Like, you know, they may have felt like you scorned their ass. Hunty, yeah, we about to get into this. They may have felt like you scorned their ass. So they still in their feelings, and sometimes they get moody and they get jealous. And they act, you know, they could act a hot ass mess as far as the mental um, and talking a lot of shit is concerned. So now, remember how we said you're going to have to surrender to the divine when it comes to this energy now, y'all. Okay? Remember we just said that. Okay? Now, you want this balance and shit. This old person with this knight of swords energy, they want justice for their heart because they might have felt like you don't fucked with their heart. They're not sure. It's like they speaking and they want to change, but emotionally they still on the fence. Right? There's still a delay there. This Ace of Wands, which is intuitive energy, followed by the Five of Pentacles. So there's lack of motivation here, feeling weighed down. And even like up here with this Five of, um, this Five of, um, Pentacles, that's some insecurity and some isolation shit going on. The question is, like, do you want to deal with that? Do you want to spend a lot of time correcting that and building on that, right? So now we're about to jump into the energy of this um, your Knight of Cups here. We're about to jump into this next person's energy and see what they got going on, right? And over here, you got the Justice card you got the hangman. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah. Which would make sense because that Virgo energy up there. Oh, in, yeah. That's like an earth sign. Mm. Okay. So you could be dealing with an, a Virgo or you could be dealing with... um. Or you could be dealing with um, Neptune. Who's Neptune? Is Neptune a Pisces? Is Neptune Pisces? Um, who 
Pluto, Jupiter. I think Neptune is Pisces. Yeah, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Neptune is ruled by Pisces. And that's, you know, that person, yeah, they want some emotional justice. So, um, let's take a look at this. Uh, we're going to take a look at this energy. We're going to take a look at this energy of this person with the um, Knight of Cups that's coming in to offer you this romance. So I clarify for my wonderful Capricorn this Knight of Cups energy with this person that's clarified this person. Clarify this Knight of Cups person. And them coming in to make an offer. Clarify this Knight of Cups person. Clarify this Knight of Cups person. Because you got two energies. Hmm. Now the cups person feel like they need some closure. Right? They feel like they need some closure because they want to begin in with you. They see a potential and they feel like there's... There's, there, there needs to be some closure. They feel like something is not completed. They need more completion. And they're probably feeling a little frustrated because they're, they're you know, like, um, and it could be like, even if you haven't met this person yet, they could be getting frustrated with the same love process like you're getting frustrated for. This Eight of Cups in Reverse means like there's some frustration and maybe delay. Uh, yeah, yeah. They feel like there's some frustration and then some delay with you accepting the offer. Or maybe a delay with them meeting the right person if you haven't met this person yet. Because we're talking about soulmate energy, right? So you got the Knight of Cups energy, my wonderful Capricorns. And this person feel like they're not completed. They feel like they're, you know, like, yeah, their potential, there's something. And if you already met this person, they may be feeling a little frustrated or um, maybe holding off a little bit or holding back a little bit because they feel like you have not accepted their cup of love yet, Capricorns. This may make them a little bit... um emotionally moody and maybe even a little bit manipulative with how they feel right you know it's like they want this they want to stay and although they don't want to go they may be you know saying yeah i'm good with it like you know if this don't work i'm good with it and like i said this could be you capricorn telling this to the universe or this could be this person you know However, I really feel, my lovelies, um, I really feel like um, you could be dealing with another Capricorn. You could be dealing with another Capricorn. Or this energy here could be your energy. This energy over here with the Knight of Cups could be also your energy pertaining to um, you wanting this love offer to come in and working towards something more versus this person coming in and rushing in, right? So place the energy where it fits. Um, however, it does feel Capricorns like there is somebody new that wants you, you know, and they want to move past all of the bullshit, right? They sometimes could be a little bit manipulative emotionally. That's because they want something else and they, they want more. They don't feel like you're giving them. They don't feel like you're giving them the opportunity to build more with you. Yep. You got the queen of cups. Yep. Like they feel like they bring in that emotional security. <laughs> right. Um. They feel like sometimes they can be a little bit, um, you know, like overprotective of their heart. But that's just because you're not opening um, your heart. Like they feel like they've made an offer and you're not opening your heart. Hmm. 
You got the two of wands. Yep, that fits. Yep. You got the two of wands. And then you got the two of pentacles. So the two of wands energies, intuitive energy, pentacles energies, like this third dimensional realm. Um, and with the two of wands in reverse, this person is afraid of the unknown, right? They're afraid of the unknown. Like they don't want to like plan anything with you because you, it, it's kind of like... And, and because you remember, you're still over here in this energy where you're paying attention to illusions, although you're ready. So sometimes you back over here, I don't know if you're telling the truth. And then you're over here, well, I'm open to the newness. Then you back over here, I don't really know if you're telling the truth. And then you back over here, I'm open to the newness. So it's, it's kind of like they don't know if they should. Yeah. Hmm. Right now... Right now, they may even be acting a little bit um, immature, right? Because it, their thoughts are scattered. They feel like they've offered you something. Yep, like you broke their heart. You may be breaking somebody's heart, Capricorn. Uh, you or Capricorns, you're the person that could get be getting your heart broken because you you know, like extended your love and this person is just not, has not grabbed it, right? Which will, which is really kind of starting to make sense as to how these cards are unfolding up here with this sexuality and nothing is written in stone yet. Because some of you may still be tied to this person from the past sexually and be tied to this new person sexually also. Now, remember, sexual energy is also creative energy, right? So, although you may not have met this person so far in this third dimensional realm, now listen to me, y'all, because I study energy, right? You could still feel this person's energy in your vibration and have already connected with them in the spiritual realm, right? Now, because you're holding on to Mr. Knight over here... With the swords and the, you know, Wheel of Fortune energy, this person is still, they still have shit from the past that they have not released. Right? And every time you have sex with someone on the physical realm where you're exchanging bodily fluids, what happens, my loves, is that you're not only exchanging bodily fluids, you're also exchanging energy. And if your energy is confused and not sure if you want that relationship and his energy is still confused and he's not sure if he wants this relationship, it continues a continual bubble of um, not being sure if I want this relationship. Okay? Which is important for you to recognize and to understand. Okay? Now, so, and that's if you're having sex with this person. Now, I keep teaching you guys of being repetitive on this channel where sexual energy is also creative energy. Right? That's your creative Force. So your creative force is your feelings, your mental thinking, but anything else, your feelings is going to trump. Your feelings is what creates. So if you're still here in your creative force thinking about this person, Mr. Knight over here, with this not Mr. Um, Knight of Swords over here energy, and, and, and this is like a cycle ending, but even if this cycle is ending the beginning, and I'm just going to tell you right now. This old person, if you do choose to, to go that route, right, they are still in their feelings and they want justice for their feelings. And I'm not saying that it can't work out. What I am saying is that be prepared to do some work, Capricorns. And you could be dealing with another Capricorn or a Virgo. Okay. So, um... Pay attention to, to the sex walk. And even some of you pay attention to your um, creative power with this person. It, because sexual energy is also creative energy. So you may not even be having sex with this person. But you could always have your mind on this person. Or this person could always have you on their mind in a sexual way. Um, for some of you, you can feel that sexual energy and the sexual intensity between the both of you. Even though you haven't spoken to them or seen them in, a, in, in months or weeks. Right? So, sexual energy is very, very powerful energy. It is not just having sex with someone. It is also creative energy because it stirs up a feeling, okay? And remember, I keep teaching and saying to you guys that your feeling is what manifests things into this third dimensional realm. So, it is saying, watch your creative force. Watch your creative force, my men. Watch your life force when you out there just randomly thinking that you're just having sex. That's not how this works, okay? Nothing is set in stone yet, but once you start to employ this creative energy, my loves, shit then starts to get tricky, okay? So, let's get into this right here. 
this is all starting to make sense, Capricorn. Some of you have been going through a healing process for a long time. And it's asking you not to let your pride get in the way. So you got some new shit coming in and you got some old shit coming in. What do you really want is the question. You got somebody circling back or somebody that's still there. And it's been a bumpy ride. And then you have somebody either coming in to offer you something new because that's what you've been vibrating on. That's what you've been praying and asking your ancestors for. Maybe that's what you've been asking Oshun for. Maybe that's what you've been asking. I, you, you know, like whatever God is, you know, set me, like whatever God is you've been tapping into and whatever energy you've been tapping into and whatever you've been putting on your altar, you've been asking for some real love shit. Okay. It's clear all over here, honey. Or are you going to let pride get in the way of your healing? Because love can bring in a tremendous amount of healing. A tremendous amount of healing love can bring in. I'm not playing, y'all. Like, love can do that shit. Love can do that shit. You can. I told y'all we were going based on what messages they wanted to, to bring through. So this is a message for y'all. Y'all got new love coming in. Somebody new is coming in to offer you something or somebody new has already come in to offer you something. And this is frustrating energy um, because they feel like you have not uh, accepted their offer. And their heart is broken. But it's like a transformation. It's like a transformation. Their heart is broken, but they want the security with you. They want that. They want that. All right, so let's get into this. What does Capricorn need to know about this Knight of Swords energy? What do you want? What else do you want Capricorns to know about their Knight of Swords energy? What else do you want Capricorns to know about their Knight of Swords energy? What else do you want Capricorns to know about their Knight of Swords energy? What do you want them to know about this Knight of Swords energy? Okay, they're saying gratitude. Okay. There's gratitude there. They want you to be grateful. Um, there's attraction. Mm. Action. Mm. Okay. What do you want Capricorn to know about the Knight of Cups? What do you want Capricorn to know about Mr. Knight of Cups? What do you want Capricorn to know about Mr. Knight of Cups? What do you want Capricorns to know about this the Knight of Cups? What do you want Capricorns to know about this the Knight of Cups? What do you want Capricorns to know about this the Knight of Cups? Mm. The unexpected. I feel that though. What else do you want Capricorns to know? Woo! Peace? Fucking Capricorn. What? discernment popped out and we gonna keep that but i'm gonna pull one more i'm gonna pull one more you get into this capricorns Woo, baby Ugh. come on with it y'all y'all not playing today y'all are not playing it where's the other deck of cards i need i'm missing my oracle deck of cards because we gonna get some we gonna get some wisdom today y'all not leaving here without some wisdom Let's just say the old person that might be circling back or that you're still working on things where they want you to know that you need to be grateful because there's some things that this relationship has taught you whether or not you want to embrace it or not. OK, so step into a place of gratitude. Be grateful that they still bouncing back and forth of whether or not they want this. Be grateful because that gives you a time to get into this healing. Right. But this is why you don't want to let pride get in your way. You don't want to let pride get in your way as you're doing your healing. So get into a place of gratitude with this night, you know, with this night energy. Remember, we just went through this whole Mr. Knight of Swords person from the past. Right. This time be grateful. There is, there was an attraction there, right? There is, there was or is an attraction there, obviously, okay? 
That's why you're probably thinking about giving this person a second chance or a third chance or a fucking fourth chance. Who knows, right? However, there's going to be action required. And if you're with someone and they're constantly bringing up the past and there's nothing going towards the future, right? Guess what? You're still going to be reliving a timeline of the past. So, action is going to be needed in this relationship. Work is going to have to be done in this relationship, okay? If we were talking about Mr. Cups that was coming in to offer you something, where he at? Where Mr. Cups at? Where Mr. Cups at? Mr. Cups, where you at, Mr. Cups? Look at Mr. Cups. Mr. Cups was coming in to offer you something. Mr. Cups, first of all, is looking towards the future. Mr. Swords was looking towards the past. Mr. Cups is the future and wants to build something with you. And what they're saying about Mr. Cups is you need to expect the unexpected from this relationship. Okay? Expect the unexpected from this relationship. We create all beautiful things. We create all negative things. Expect, you know, like expect the unexpected or, you, 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 you know, and it is saying as you do that, there's peace and you need to have peace, honey. As you expect the beautifully unexpected, they want you to know that there's peace with Mr. Um, Mr. Uh, Cups, right? There's also going to be a sense of discernment, right? You see where she has this ball of energy? You see where she has this ball of energy? Because right here, she's she may be clouded here, right? Mr. Uh, Swords energy or thinking all up in your head. She may be clouded here, right? But Mr. Cup's energy, discernment energy comes from your heart chakra. What I always tell you guys about your heart chakra. Your heart chakra is your original compass. This is what you manifest within this third dimensional realm. Discernment, honey baby. I can't, listen, I can't tell y'all what to do because y'all going to do what y'all do. And some people, you know, the sex may be popping with Mr., you know, sex may be popping over here with the night energy, um, the knight of swords energy, right? So you got the knight of swords energy with the wheel of fortune, that energy, the sex may be popping. Over here, you may not have slept with this person yet. Well, you could have, and that's probably what's fucking his head up. But anyway, um, let's just see what the ancient ancestors want you to know about the Knight of Swords, okay, and the Knight of Cups. You got Mr. Knight of Swords, and you got Mr. Knight of Cups. What you want them to know about Mr. Knight of Swords and Mr. Knight of Cups? Give me Mr. Knight of Cups and Mr. Knight of Swords first. Give me this, what you want. Mm, that just fell out. Okay, if you're dealing with Mr. Knight of Swords, my love, they're saying you're going to have to go into hermit mode, retreat, and recharge. That's your message from Mr. Um, Knight of Swords energy. What's the message from Mr. Knight of Cups energy? Message for Mr. Knight of Cups energy. 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 I want y'all to give it to me plain. I don't want to go looking for this. Flip that card out. Thank you. Mmm. Woo! I can't make this shit up. You got the Mother Earth. Why you got so much shit like you breathing stuff here? Right? Now, let me just go through some symbolisms here. Okay? First of all, butterfly transformation. We got the moon feelings, okay? Look at that. Breast, nurturing, producing, butterfly again. Transformation, creating, going from one stage to the next. She birthing something, the earth, everything you need. And I'm going to tell you, it says feel loved, right? And comforted. She's all about love and comforted. So, Mr. Cup's energy is going to be offering you some love and some comfort. Mr. Um, Knight of Swords energy over here, you're going to have to retreat and recharge, okay? Because they're going to keep you stuck in a loop from the past, right? Healing is coming in. Don't let your pride get in the way. You got some new shit coming in, Capricorns, okay? If that person is not here already, okay? 
All right. Okay, my wonderful Capricorns, I hope this was helpful. This was your general reading, and I told you we were going to go where they wanted to go. And today, honey, they went, okay? Keep in mind, I do go live on Fridays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, paid for it Friday, so you guys can come on in and join us. I was not on last Friday because it was birthday weekend, um, so I am having a birthday special up until the 22nd of this month. You guys can get half off of love readings as well as career readings, okay? So that's a reading and coaching session for 45 minutes with me um, for 50 dollars so you guys can take advantage of that the sale is finito after the 22nd so you guys can take um, take advantage of that also keep in mind that my podcast will be available for you guys to stream starting november 18th super excited about that and if you have not checked out the dailies yet please do so i do post daily vibrational videos just to encourage you and motivate you and help get you through your day we talk about the collective energy in that universe and the atmosphere as well as maybe some tips and some tools that you can use um in your daily okay my loves i hope this was helpful capricorns i know how y'all do y'all gonna be leaving comments i can't wait to read your comments okay and Ernest, i haven't heard from you in a long time Ernest. i got my wand Ernest. i got my wand Ernest. ah love it okay all right my wonderful capricorns i will see you guys in your dailies tomorrow as well as your love readings next week okay next week we are doing um quality time from the five love language series. So we're going into the second love language. That will be a short video of what quality time means, how you can recognize it in your partner or in your loved ones, and some of the things that you can do to help build and deposit love into their love bank, okay? I will see you guys tomorrow. Do something kind for yourself. Love yourself. Be honest with yourself. Operate with integrity. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, my loves.